Diamonds are rare crystals composed mostly of carbon and are the hardest natural substance on Earth. An expert cut manipulates light to maximize a stone's brilliance, which enhances the diamond's beauty and increases its value. Diamonds come in a variety of colors, the most common of which for jewelry is white. They begin as a larger rough stone. The goal is to cut as big a diamond as possible from it while cutting away any imperfections that lessen the value. To do this precision work, master diamond cutters use a magnifying glass that enlarges the stone ten times. They carefully examine and re-examine the rough diamond, trying to determine the best way to divide the stone. A diamond must be cut in the direction of its grain. Hot glue secures the rough diamond into a holder, positioned over the saw, which has a fine bronze blade. But it can't cut through the diamond on its own. Only diamond can cut diamond. So the saw blade is coated in a mixture of diamond dust and oil. Sawing an average size rough diamond can take up to four hours. The second stage of diamond cutting is called polishing. It's the process of forming the diamond. A special machine first tailors the basic shape. Then the diamond cutter puts glue in a molding tool called a dock. This will hold the diamond firmly in place. The diamond is pressed against a spinning cast iron wheel, coated with a mixture of diamond dust and oil. Any marks from the earlier sawing are removed. Then to give the stone its brilliance, the jeweler forms facets, the pattern of tiny flat sides. The facets are designed to reflect light off each other. Each one must be exactly the right size and shape and cut at precisely the right angle in relation to other facets to create maximum brilliance. Here the table facet is being formed, which is the flat top of the diamond. Then comes the pavilions, the angled facets at the end in a point at the bottom of the diamond. If they're cut too deep or too shallow, light will leak out of the bottom, making the diamond dark in the center and dull overall. The diamond cutter uses specialized tools to measure the angle, creating the ideal slope at 42 degrees. Next are the crown facets, the angled sides circulating the diamond directly under the table. Using another type of dock, the diamond cutter fashions what's called the girdle, the faceted rim that separates the crown facets from the top half of the diamond and the pavilion facets below. Diamonds are weighed using a measurement called carats. One carat weighs 0.2 grams. Polishing a one carat diamond can take three or four hours. When it's done, they boil it in acid to remove any debris or residue. This finished diamond has 58 facets and it's called a brilliant cut. It's by far the most common style, dating back to the 1600s. The quality of the cut is a key factor in grading diamonds. Experts also rate what's called the clarity, the degree of imperfections in the stone. So next time you take a look through the jeweler's window, at least you'll know why you can't afford the diamond of your dreams.